Hello guys, um, listen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching and first I want to say a huge, big, massive thank you to all of you that have either watched the video, shared the video, like literally we suddenly started getting people say I'm um, watching you guys from London, I'm watching you guys from Ghana. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm how from, many people were watching yeah, from different parts of the world. It's really beautiful and, yeah. and the biggest thing for me um, while we're doing what we're doing, it's not just because I want you to watch us or anything, it's because of the lessons that people are saying they're learning, yeah. how blessed they are with what they're seeing. So when somebody says, man, I mean, this has opened my eyes to, the eyes to this, this has helped me to prepare myself for this, that's the essence of what yeah. we're doing. And thank you so much. And I want to say, please share, please um, like. like Please comment, comment, subscribe. We actually love your comments. Like sometimes, yeah, I actually it's so much look fun. forward to the comments. <laughs> so much fun. I feel like yeah. I reference the comments in almost every video because we really do read all yeah, the comments, all even the though comments. we can't get around to like responding yeah. to each and every one because yeah. we don't want to do like generic responses, and it's quite a bit, you know. Yeah. But we appreciate, appreciate them. We read them. them. We we're actually we discussed that we're gonna do lives. At some point, I know we said we were going to go live yeah, yes. once before, and we had some um, technical difficulties. We're going to figure are, out, yeah. And do Q and As. We are yeah. definitely going to do that. We'll let you guys know the date where we're going to come on live and have everybody join yeah. us. Uh, a time that will work for both people in Africa and both in Europe, oh, yeah. both in America. We'll figure that time. Maybe it might be like a twelve o'clock time here. Twelve p.m. here. 12 PM yeah, we'll be like six p.m. in Nigeria. Okay. Or, or two p.m. So that people are already chilling at home around eight p.m. in Nigeria. Yeah. Stuff like that. Maybe one p.m. Because yeah, it's seven p.m. Seven p.m. Yeah. Like right now, but I mean. Okay. Yeah, so, but welcome everybody. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm sure here. you're wondering why you're here. Oh, oh, yeah. you want to introduce me? Go ahead. Yes, my baby. beautiful wife. Just in case you don't know, this is my wife. Her name is Erica Katrina Godfrey. Wait, what's this, my evil name? Um, my mom gives you a nothing though. My mom calls you. Um, it means, I know what it means. Yeah. But I, I was not vibing with what, what, what do you mean? I can't remember. It means God has given or something? Or? Chinyere. Yeah. Chinyere. My mom says, um, for her, it's like, oh, that's so beautiful. Like, God gave her to us. Mm. God brought her to our family. And that's so beautiful. That's what my mom calls her. She just tell me, Kekwa Makachi. I don't know if you don't understand it, but Kekwa Makachi. How is Chinyere? I'm saying, Miss Chinyere. So, what do you mean? You don't know who Chinyere is? I said, oh. Anyways, love you, mommy. Yes. Um, so, this is my beautiful wife, and this is Mr. and Mrs. Yes. Godfrey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told my husband to do the intro. He did really yes, well. Yes. So, yes. and this is my husband for you yeah, who yeah, do not yeah, know yeah. him. The <laughs> amazing, oh God, incomparable, <laughs> handsome, and intelligent. Chikuri, Timothy. Godfrey. Period. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm. All right. So, I know y'all are wondering why y'all are here today. If you remember in our cultural differences video. Um, if you have not seen that video, go back and watch it. Mm -hmm. um, but in that video, I referenced how I had not yet made a Nigerian dish for my husband yet because I was a little bit nervous. Um, but I said that I was going to eventually do it and I was going to start with chicken stew. Yes. And I'm not sure how much of me the camera is catching. <laughs> but if you look close enough, you will see that we did a thing today. Yes, but let's, let's not tell them yet. Let's, oh my God. Anyways, yes. Oh, my shirt. <laughs> so Some we did. We, we made I'm not sure today. they can see it. This camera makes everything look very, very Yeah. yeah it's it's here. here. That's fine. Here. You'll see it in the video. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, today so, we're just going to be kind of discussing food. Food, yeah. Food yeah. generally. We're going to be discussing food and, you know, but before we get into food, um, well, let's talk about the episode with Brian. Okay. Let's talk about it. You know, that's really something everybody's watching and everybody's really vibing with i think we're gonna get brian back soon somebody yeah. said in the comment that we didn't even allow him to <laughs> we're so used i told him i was like you, you better jump in <laughs> so, so we're used to mm -hmm. just 
me and my husband vibe conversationally. Yeah, yeah. we can go on and we on just, and on yeah, and on. And on. Off but I mean, it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful episode. Yeah. If you have not seen it, please go see it again. Yeah. Jason Brand, our son, and everything that he said. How we are always very mushy and all of those things. And then, thank God he's going to school. At least he doesn't <laughs> see it every time and all of those hating things. After that. <laughs> hating. One day he will and, see. He yeah, was and I caught Brian in school today. I will tell you guys hey, later. Hey, he told me. I is went it, to pick him. Not gonna tell now. I went to pick him. So he came back some days ago. This is God. Don't tell Brian, yeah? Mm-hmm. He came back some days ago and said he has a crush on one girl. I said, what? <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. Seriously, as parents, I don't even know. I mean, those of you that have had teenagers and all of those things, how do you respond like, to stuff yeah, like that? Like, yeah, what do you do? Because in the last <laughs> video, the chat, yeah. we said... No girlfriend anytime soon. Yeah, but he, but he came now back and said know. that he has a crush. And I, I thought, what would I say to him? What would I say to him? What would I say right. to him? I didn't. I told him, um, let's talk about that later. <laughs> so, I mean, he, I mean, he has had people. I remember he and D went to shave, um, cut their hair, and one lady was all over him. One girl, but the girl's older than him. The girl said that. I mean, they were serious. The parents almost wanted to say, okay, you guys should. Like I they said, wanted what? Brian to go to the prom, yeah. senior prom, what? with their daughter. He's and just they 14. Didn't believe him when he said he. He was 14. 14. Yeah, they he thought he like probably he was, was 19 whatever. or 20 and stuff. Anyways, when he told me about it, I just told him, you know what, it's okay to have. That's what I told him. So let me know what I, what I said. Well, you said like it's okay to have a crush. It's okay to have a crush. I mean, yeah, I mean there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know if you can control that. Yeah, like, you can't control that. Having like, the person I had a crush with, my wife does not like her, but I've stopped it. I've shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? What's he yeah. talking about? We will not do this. Hey. Okay. We will okay. not. Anyways, so um, I told him that you have to be careful that you're not distracted by that. That it's okay. It's just a feeling. Yeah. And make sure that um, you don't. Because sometimes if you focus on that so much, you start thinking and paying attention to the person mm-hmm. where you forget why you went to school and stuff mm-hmm. like that. The thing is that these things really happen real for real. And every parent, don't even lie. You all experience this when you were in school. Yeah. So there's one know, girl somewhere, there's one guy somewhere that you're always paying attention to. You're always making mm-hmm. say, man, this girl. We all did, but when it comes to our kid, we just shut up, keep quiet. Especially for African parents, keep quiet. We're afraid of saying that, but I'm, I'm happy he's able to talk about all of yeah, this with he's us. Very it's, open it's one of my and prayers that we're able to get him to the point where he's going to be all of this honest. Yeah. So ask your child whether he yeah. or she has a crush. And don't, don't scare because. If they're scared, they will not be honest. But yeah, in yeah, fact, they will not them. even just get into this. I mean, you have to have this kind of conversation with them, please. Anyways, that's the whole we want to talk about. But go check out segment. the video. <laughs> go check out the video from that okay. episode of introducing. I think the caption of the video is what again? Meet Brian Godfrey. Meet Brian Godfrey. Meet our yeah. son Brian Meet Godfrey. Brian I Godfrey. Think. So let's get ready to talk about food, baby. Okay. Tell me. Do you remember when you made your first meal as a, as maybe a teenager, as a child? Did you, did you first your mom meal? That taught you? Did you learn it how? So, um, my family cooks. Like I Listen, come from first, a cooking family. She has a big family. The that family is means. like, out. It's, it's so beautiful yeah. to have. Like I have maybe like cousins, whatever six, five or six. Female cousins. I'm even confused like who a few. is Harry grandma because she has like plenty grandmas. <laughs> I have like five or six female cousins who were within like the same age group as me, so we grew up very close. Um, I have uh, two aunties. I have one who's late, um, but it's just always been surrounded with women, so we've always cooked. Um, even though I started cooking kind of late though, because I lived with my mom up until I was maybe like 20, 21. So even though I had seen my mom cooking things, you know. Did she ever teach you? Or uh, just, I was in like, the kitchen, like, yeah. yeah. Like I was there, but for her to like do step by step by step, no. Um, but I'm a visual learner. So once I eventually moved out on my own, you know, it took a few times of trying different things, figuring out how I like things. Um, my grandmother's cook as well. Uh, so my family, like I said, is a cooking family. I come from a cooking background. And uh, yeah, I have, I have a few years of cooking for myself under my belt. Um, the first meal, that was your question, the mm-hmm. first meal I ever cooked. I can't remember the first meal I ever cooked, but um, I did just mention that one of my aunts is late. And I remember being a young child, maybe about, cause I remember we were in like my childhood home. I was probably about like nine or 10, I think. Yeah, maybe around that age. And she uh, taught me how to make eggs, like breakfast eggs. 
Um, so I, I just have like a very vivid memory of that as a kid. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I started kind I mean, of Okay, um, we're gonna take a pause here and come back in. Let me share my own story about food, you know. And meanwhile, the chicken stew is happening today or has happened already. It has, ha has happened already. It's already happened. Yeah. I mean, it's what I mean, true. happening, we're gonna eat it today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna show you yeah. guys um, the end results. <laughs> I'm confident. I'm Let's confident. Let's go. All right. <laughs> about food, I think um, my food experience wasn't, I mean, of course, um, um, the first from my parents were eight in total. Mm. From my mom, I mean, what I mean from my mom, my dad and my mom never got, we were just married together till my dad was late. My mom never remarried. Um, my mom never remarried. I wonder whether she's good. <laughs> she's not. Can I check on her? Yeah, please. <laughs> so let me continue. My mom never remarried. Um, I think my dad was um, passed, um, my dad passed. 1997, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, um, um, the first um, child that my mom had is a boy. I am the second boy. Um, the next is late boy. The next after that one is boy. And that one is boy. So, my mom had five boys first before the girl came. And then after the girl came, this is my own analysis. Then I say, oh, girl is here now, let's have one more. And then another boy came, so we came to seven. And they said, you know what, we're not we're done with this. And then it was supposed to be like six guys and one girl. And you know how, I don't know how Africa, you guys let me know in the comments. They didn't plan to have another baby, but they had another baby. But we love which was that they had a baby. And yes. Vanessa. Okay, <laughs> a baby Vanessa. Anyways, I'm saying this to say that we, we my mom, by having boys alone, we had to learn how to do some of those things because there was no girl to do it at home. So we sort of learned cooking a bit. So um, somehow we all had to learn how to cook. We all had to learn how to cook somehow, not maybe perfectly. Like you said, mom didn't come and teach us how to cook and all of those things. Now, um, I'm going to move very fast. Um, what was we, the first dish you ever made? We, um, to be honest, I, I don't remember. But I remember that um, at 12, when I became a houseboy, I normally, cooking was one of the things that I had to do compulsorily. And I was telling my wife that maybe the next cooking, or after a while I would try to, I would cook, I would just, I, I hated cooking because um, with the cooking I was doing then, I cooked everything. I took about whiskey, stew, whatever kind of, whatever kind of stew, um, okra soup, obana soup, vegetable soup, I made all of those things. But um, for me, it was under like stress, it was mm. under some, some sort of abuse, um, which was difficult for me. So everything about cooking or- It's not really something the, you look forward I, to. I, I, I just hated it. Mm. And you know, just to satisfy the person that was um, serving, sometimes I'll starve myself. You know how, are you not gonna eat? No, I'm not gonna eat. Just to see if he's gonna be happy so that there will be sort of, some sort of, mm. the atmosphere will be good because every time it's almost like he's mad for whatever, mm. I don't know. So, and one, maybe one of these episodes, I'm gonna share my childhood properly. Now, um, but I cooked a lot of things that period and you know, um, and I'm hoping that there will be a reason for me to enjoy cooking again. There will but, be. You know, this YouTube channel will be a reason because yes. chicken stew isn't the only thing we're going to make. We're going to make a few things. We're yeah, not I, turning I think, it into a cooking channel. I, I think that but, I want her to make... What do you guys want her to make? I mean, Yeah, next time. Um, some people, we'll I would prefer a goosey. It's easy, but I would have wanted a kind of corn or you know, some of I don't mind a goosey, but it's not one of my best. Yeah, her <laughs> best soup is... I don't know. F.O. Rero might be... I thought you said... It's, it's yeah. neck and neck. It's what is, pepper soup no, and there's F.O. Rero. There's one other soup that you like. I found banga. something. Bangaya. You yeah. like Bangaya, but you're done with Bangaya, right? No, the last time we had Bangaya, remember I asked you who made it? Where we so, get but it? what's your number one? I had it last week. What's your number one? My number one. It's hard to choose between the three. Are you serious? But I'll say, if I had to, to, to tie two for first place, it would be pepper soup and F.O. Rero. Oh, wow, Banga is not number three. Peace out. Banga is number two now because there's two, two in number, number one. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm um, just talking about that because now the, today um, my wife has just made her first. I'm proud of 
proud of me. First ever and it tastes Nigeria good. meal, chicken stew by herself. Nobody was here. I just tried to catch a bit of it on camera and it's looking really, really good. I'm gonna have us video whilst we're eating it, but we're gonna also take you back to the process of making the food yeah. also. We have so footage of that. it was it was really good. Uh, she was a bit mm. I was in the beginning I was very nervous because I'm like even cutting the vet <laughs> It's funny how like the simplest things Fear can have you overcomplicating <laughs> it. Cause I'm like, my this wife always the vegetables. is too I'm like, careful. I've cut vegetables before. Like, why am I so tough? <laughs> She's always too. Next thing she will, listen, when we're going to eat now, she'll say, let me know what I, it's really, really No, good. I've already told Please, them that. So I'm not going to say exactly. that again. <laughs> or, um, when we take the first spoon, what do you think? Is no, I'm okay? not going to say anything. I'm going to be like this. <laughs> I'm just going to be looking for their reactions. But, but it's fine because she also wants to make sure that it's yeah, yeah. But I'm looking forward to when we can be able to make different things. Like, literally, if not because I was shooting, I want to support her in the kitchen. This, yeah. this is one of my dreams. Support her Next in the time we'll, we'll set up things properly so that you can below my hands off. Because he was holding the phone and the camera, you know, yeah, he was doing a lot of different things stuff, yeah. but the next time let's make pepper soup and we'll invite esther yeah to come. d jones's wife esther is She's, a phenomenal cook she cooks um she actually has a yeah. youtube channel so rain. <laughs> rain <has started. laughs> rain, rain. okay this episode is about actually that chicken stew it looks so so delicious already even though i've not well does delicious is it like this just look it looks, it looks delicious. It feels, yeah. yeah, it looks delicious. It and, feels delicious. And I'm looking forward to like jumping into We're the food. We're about to chicken right now. Stew made by your stew, uh, my beautiful wife. So, and um, I will say the truth, whether it's good or it's not good. Yes. Now, um, if you check how we made the stew, let us know whether you could do it. Differently. Yeah, there's some variations because I mentioned in the video that people use, you know, different types of tomatoes and the ratios. I'm not 100% on the ratios yet, but you know, if you guys, once you watch the video, you see the steps that I made. If you um, have any suggestions on how it could be better, um, let, us let us know. Definitely. We're Please let us learn. know. We want to grow. If there are other ways we can cook it, let us know. Just sort of start making all this food and make this woman a proper 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 anambra princess mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. okay let's check out um the making of the food right first how the food was made before we eat yeah okay all right peace Bye. out she is making chicken stew and whatever her, her chef says is exactly how she <laughs> I'm in our hearts, it, it might not really be it, but we're using, we're speaking it into life. <laughs> no, it is wild. I was Are a you nervous? nervous. Yeah. I, I was, mm -hmm. but I feel like now that we're recording and people, y'all were encouraging me in the comments. I just want to say thank you because a lot of people were like, it's okay. You know, you try it, you did it wrong. Yeah. I've done it. You know, this is what I've tried. This is what I've done. So that definitely helped. Um, just to remember that stuff. So, I'm ready. I have the ingredients that, um, oh, shout out to Esther D. Jones of Esther D.'s Kitchen, um, D. Jones's wife. She's an amazing cook. And um, she told me the ingredients that she uses. So, I have some Roma tomatoes, I have some red onions, some red peppers, um, garlic, habanero peppers because you know spices life and um we got some chicken stock we got garlic powder onion powder cayenne nutmeg thyme tomato paste i bought this can of crushed tomatoes just in case i need more tomatoes because um i've made them with a friend before and she used bigger tomatoes so figured i might need more tomatoes we're not showing brands because you know um, we have nor and we have some adobo. So, and we have rain. So, <laughs> it was fun to show. Have rain somewhere there. <laughs> yes. So, I'm about to get started. I'm super excited. We got a little food processor to help blend it up. I know some people use blenders. My Nigerian friends um, shared stories with me of how their parents used the home blender to make stew and then they went to make smoothies and their smoothies taste like stew. So we will not be using Never. our blender. 
Never. We will be using um, our food processor, and yeah. I've kind of moved everything out of the way um, to make space. So y'all stay tuned. Let me get baby girl. Y'all stay tuned. I can't remember if you cut the pepper or just throw it in whole. I think we should just throw it in whole because we cut it. It's going to choke us. So. Just, just keep trying to work. Yeah, we're gonna put those to the side because I've witnessed someone um, cutting it and then cooking it in real time, and it was like not cute. So anyway, all right, we're gonna take this, we're gonna seed them. Go ahead and take off the stem and the seed. Only using two bell peppers um, because I have such small tomatoes. I don't want it to like the ratio to be off because I heard it's all about the ratios so I'm gonna mix that to get all the seeds out I mean uh, rinse it to get all the seeds out so same with this one I know people use different tomatoes um, Y'all let us know in the comments what kind of tomatoes you use and why. Because so I guess they probably have like different flavors or whatever. For the onion. So I'm going to use one full onion inside the stew and maybe like a quarter or a half in the oil for like the stew base, I guess that's what it's called. Um, I'm just gonna cut this one up to put in the stew. Guess it can be a pretty big piece. We're gonna blend it. So. One of those can't get into somebody's eyes. I wear contacts, so I'm actually immune to, um, I wear medicated contacts, so. Onions don't make me cry. <laughs> I'm just peeling off the little outside part. Ooh, I do feel that pepper a little bit, baby, and I didn't even do anything to it. Got in my throat a little bit. Um, this isn't the prettiest onion. These American groceries first. This onion looks like this one looks somehow. I'm not gonna use two onions. My husband said that's a, a bit much, so we're just taking off the ugly parts. And we're gonna use this in the stew in the pot, like in the oil. Yep. Then. Let's just eat this one like this. Ew. No. Never. Okay, so. I'm going to set this here while I rinse my cutting board again. Well, I actually think we're done with the cutting board. So. Why is it Because the pepper. Okay. It's from the other one. Good thing we gotta do it more than once. So, let me transport this here. Yeah, it's okay, just put it in this one. Okay. Can I put it in this one? Spice some. I know. I'm forgetting about those habaneros. So, I might be able to add all the rest. Let's see how much we can get in here. Put all of it? Okay. I'm trying to see if it'll fit. Right. Okay. Okay, hubby. Submission, submission. Mm -hmm. Baby, are you sure? It's a fit. Yes. Yes, Okay. <laughs> it's a three. Okay. Oops. Okay. Yes, let's try that. That's good. He loves a challenge. 
Okay. Yeah. Tomato face. Alright, so I actually ended up adding the whole can. My husband told me <laughs> to add the full can. I've only ever seen it done with half a can. I mean, half a can. But this is my husband's stew. Okay, and however he wants it, he going to get it. So, just trying to break it up as it fries and then I'll set it and let it cook a little before I add the stew mix. The mixture that we made, I'm gonna try not to splash this on my shirt. By the grace of God. <laughs> Praise God. All right, so we'll be back. So it's looking good. Looking very good, actually. So now we're going to add our seasonings. Um, I shared with you guys earlier. It was popping. I'm happy we have this tall pan. As you can see, stew can get very messy. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> so, um,. I'm gonna start with my adobo. Alright, so. The consistency is getting there. Let's just begin before we add the chicken. The flavor is definitely there. All right, so now we're about to add the chicken. So the chicken was prepared. So now we're about to add the chicken. The chicken was prepared earlier off screen. That is looking very good. Yum, yum, yum. Give it up for the chicken. My husband was peeling pieces off of there. We're still gonna put it in the pot though because he didn't bite it, but <laughs> yeah, the chicken was looking good. So, yo, the way I'm just eating the pot, why not? Looking like, looking very good. So this is what it's looking like guys. Waiting for Brian and my husband. So we can dig it. Alright. Hey. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Okay. This is the moment of truth. Mm. Five. Yeah, we're good. Ramp it. Uh, thank you, God, for this food. Thank you for the opportunity of bringing our family together to and providing for us. Oh Lord, you give me all the glory in that direction, oh Lord. We thank you because you know you're going to also give other people this opportunity to have this food or to have other foods that they may prepare and give you a good energy and friend Jesus was Amen. Man, I don't I don't articulate a little Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. All right. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Yes, so. Yeah, don't drink the soda. Can you bring my pepper? Oh, my husband, please, pepper. Yeah, it's called Akabanga. Akabang. Yes. Oil. Akabanga. Akabang oil. It's very spicy oil. oil. I like everything being spicy. Very spicy. Pure, proper, 100%. Well, I don't need that. Let me, let me taste it before I. Let me do it with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. <laughs> Let's mm. see from her first All right. what she thinks about food. Okay. Hold on. So I get a little piece of chicken with a the stew. You right, eh? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see what she thinks about her food first. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I think that's good. Mm. Could have let the tomato cook a little more okay. or added more pepper. Because I can still okay. kind of taste the tomato. But it's good. It's All good. right. That's hot, personal. That's my mm. opinion. Let's hear from Brian. Mm. Brian, your turn. Yes, are we? Yes. Mm. What? Chicken Take it is, easy, bro. Chicken is tender. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, All right, let me dive in. Mm. See me, I'm salivating here. Can't wait to eat. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's different, but I like it. I think maybe she was right. I don't know anything about cooking, but I know, <laughs> I know it's it's different. But I still like it very okay. much. Mm-hmm. You know what I think okay. it was, baby? What? I'm not blaming my husband. Yeah, no, I didn't let this table take five No, I don't think I was supposed to use the whole can of tomato paste. Mm-hmm. I think that's what I'm tasting. The tomato paste is kind of like. I should have actually tasted it first before I can like, say on this one. Let me see. <laughs> yes, yeah, stay on, stay on. Okay, okay. Okay, it's my turn. Mm-hmm. Now, first, it's delicious. Whether anybody likes the answer. Yep. Okay. Wait, do we need this other camera? We're doing yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, we're going to edit it and put it. Okay. But you know what? I'm already feeling like the food is going to run away. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> What's the preparation taking? Okay. It's my wife's food. It's precious. I know. Mm-hmm. Come on. Special mm-hmm. moment. It's very hot. It was a steamer. Calculating the thoughts. I think it's good. Really? Yeah. I think it's your mind. Really? It has a different because yeah. different tomatoes has different tastes. Okay. So it so maybe we'll try doing without the um the canned tomatoes, mm-hmm. but it's really delicious. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's sweet. Okay. It's it different. Sweet. It has the sweet. Here's thing what there. I'm saying. Like it's different. You know how? So yeah, I don't just... know. Hundred percent. So <laughs> it's, it's, almost like, it's almost like um like it's different. I agree with Brian. It's different. Okay. But, I mean, it's tasty. Yeah. Okay. So you still need the canned tomato, just not the whole thing, just half yeah, of the paste. I mean, why do we need the canned tomato? It thickens it. I don't know. It ha- I already have the color too. People have done, I mean, we normally do stew without that thing. Well, it's an know. experiment, you know, mm-hmm. but this is... I mean, it's not that, it's spice too, it has the spice inside. I don't know what you're saying. It's, it's maybe, not as spicy. Stop condemning your food, please. What did I say? It's not as spicy it's as not my spicy. dad's spice, because obviously... It's not that spicy. Level. Yeah, but you say it's not, but it's spicy enough for regular. Kind of not spice. for me. Oh, you need, you know, it can use more spice. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at what I did. First meal from. Thank you, baby. First Nigerian. You are cooking and doing again next week. Yes, I'm and gonna next make more in the... next two weeks. <laughs> next four weeks. You even got seconds. Listen. More rice. I took a second plate. It wasn't only one. Yeah. I finished yeah, the first did. one. I took a second one. Tell me that the food. 
by yourself. This food is delicious. <laughs> no, actually, it was Thank very you. good. The Thank more you. I ate it, I was like, no, this is good. This is good. I think I'm just being hypercritical yeah, of myself. The food is but nice, but look at what I did. Delicious. Jesus. <laughs> Our first chicken jollof. What am I saying? This thing is even affecting my head right now. <laughs> All right. Why do I show my own? Look at the three plates. <laughs> All have been empty. At least they are copied. I can't even see anything in the cup again. Finished. Demolished. Demolished. It's over. No Sorry. more. I have yeah. to get back on my weight, weight loss journey. <laughs> After this Take one. Take my weight. Please. <sighs> I'm so ready. For we love you. Time. Love you more. See you guys. Bye. Bye. So thank you guys for joining us for another video. We're taking you guys small, small, you know, through our That's meeting and our relationship. Small, small, small is the Nigerian accent. <laughs> We're taking you guys through our relationship. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, mm -hmm. comment, mm -hmm. subscribe, share. turn on your post notifications, mm -hmm. and share. share. Um, because it. other people can be blessed by this content as well. That's my wife. <laughs>